My name is Gary Fierabend. I'm the head of engineering transformation in Canada and responsible for launching Manulife University globally. My area deals with the agile practices, the engineering cadre, and security engineering of how we do things in Manulife. My team is made up of several functions. First part of it is Manulife University. Manulife University is really about what we call an upskilling and mastering program. At Manulife, in the beginning, it was very difficult to maintain our ability to stay up to date on technologies, anything to adopt modern stacks. In order to establish programs working with Pluralsight, Manulife University for campus-based training or virtual-based training to really ramp up engineers of how we get things done is a critical aspect of what we do. But there's another important side, and that is how we also demonstrate, can you apply those skills that you've learned back into the squad or back into the projects that you're working on. One of the challenges I think that Pluralsight Flow really helped us to realize was prior to us introducing Flow in our organization, we just didn't have enough data. So we were just really looking at burn down rates and number of stories completed, but it didn't give us the context of what our engineering teams were really focused on. We are customer obsessed. We find that the best way to be customer obsessed is to be obsessed about our engineers and our employees. Since we've started leveraging Flow, we're able to start finding optimizations in terms of how frequently we are committing code, making sure that we're doing more effective code reviews, and that all relates to better code quality. Flow data is power. Some of the major benefits that I got with Flow is to learn based on data. In my case, the sessions that I had with my manager were uh, very insightful. I learned uh, that maybe I should be taking more time on looking for opportunities to create new features rather than maybe looking at that legacy code. So I think by having these conversations, by looking at those metrics, we have an opportunity, not only knowing what is happening on our development cycles, but to learn and to enhance that development process. Skills from Pluralsight was a very valuable asset because we recognized people needed to learn at their frequency, their times. But there was one much more important aspect to skills. Role IQ and Skill IQ removes the bias that exists within organizations about who would be a good front-end engineer or data engineer or data scientists. It's much more quantifiable data, and now we can use it in promotional material to get that person to the next level of their career. We had one beautiful example. We found an individual that was at the associate level for five years, yet this associate level, through Skill IQ and again through Flow, helped identify how much they really get done on the squad, but they just don't happen to be verbal about it. They don't happen to stand up at the retro and really showcase what they're able to do. Instead of releases that were once a quarter, we've started releasing once a month and then now releasing every sprint, releasing features, new product evolutions, because they've gained skills, they're transparent in terms of what's happening within the squad and what are the blockers that they're running into and what's causing churn. It leads to a better product and the product our customer sees.